today and I'm part of the uh, ARNI program of stroke survivors and almost had my normal life back. Today I'm doing a kilometer walk instead of doing the Mount Timber because I just not don't have the stamina yet. But through my trainer who's very good, he won't he pushes me to my limit and beyond, which is good. There's quite a few people here today to support me. I don't know how long it's going to take me to do the kilometer, but if I have to crawl all the way, I will. But this is in training so I can do next year's mountains, hopefully. It just affected my left side. And I was told, uh, of being a wheelchair and as of now after working with stroke solutions I don't use any walking aids whatsoever it's just my stamina is low so I'm working on that well considering that he puts me on the treadmill which I don't like uh, I did a half a kilometer on that this week. So yes, this will be the longest distance I've walked without any walking aids, but it will have stops along the way because of the stamina lack of, therefore. Uh, but it's getting better. I've got enough that I can do dinner parties now and cook. In fact, I made a cake on Friday for the group when they get back here. And. Uh, They told me I'd never be up and about again. The neurologist said, you'll never be 100%. And I told him, Dr. Page, I was never 100%. So this, this walk today is to prove him wrong. And to prove my, myself and to Karen, the instructor, that I can do it. wondering if I can, but I'm determined I'm going to. But I will have to stop along the way. Uh, it, it's relatively flat, but there's one little incline that uh, will stop at the bottom. They're all for it. They've got some, go mom, you can do it. Go for it. I do a lot of walking at home. I do two to three thousand steps in the house, but that's not like climbing a mountain. Which sounds sort of ironical because I come from East Tennessee, the Smoky Mountains. <laughs> but I'm not barefoot. Okay, this is donated by someone that came out and saw this crazy group walking around and saw the car and wanted to know what was going on. So he donated 20 pounds and offered us all a drink. So. Feel very strongly about doing the exercise at the gym. If you can afford or can get an inst um, instructor that can help you, it's well worth it. Because they keep them keep you motivated and encouragement, and that yes, you can do it, and give you okay. That that one wasn't very good. Try it again, so, <laughs> and get one that counts. <laughs> Don't 
give up. There's always that one step farther. If you can do one more step, do it. Not only physically, but mentally.